Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a PHP form that when you fill out this information, it will send it to your email address. So, by filling out this form and hitting submit, it will go directly to your email. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, I found a lot of these on like the, on the web, like tutorials, and they all kind of suck. It was hard for me to actually find a good one, but I'll show you the right way and dumb it down for all the noobs out there so anybody's going to get this tutorial right. So let's start off with what I got. I got just a simple folder here and I have an index about page and a contact page with a CSS folder with some basic styling that I've already did and let's open up that index page and here's what we got uh, I'm dumbing this down so just so you guys know not to just make an index page this would go on your actual site so you have your about page and home page and then you have your contact page that's what we're working on so let's do it so in our contact HTML open it up with your favorite HTML editor we're going to make a form. It's going to have an action of question mark. Now question mark means it's going to post to itself. So we'll give it a method of post. We'll end that form. So we'll go over what this does later, but that's what it does for now. And we're going to have a UL with some input fields. So we're going to go right down in this tree and we're going to make a label. This is going to be a label for name. Because in our demonstration I have a name, email, a topic, and a message field. And that sends it all to your email. So we're going to say name and then right after that inside of this li we're still going to say we're going to give it an input, a type of text, because it's a text input. We're going to give it a name of name and an ID of name. And we're just going to end that and make sure it's self closing. So I'm going to just copy and paste this one over because I'm going to do it again for our email name, email, topic and message. So we're going to change all these attributes to name, email, alright, and we're going to have another li select Actually, we're going to do label first. Label for uh, this is going to be our topic field. And we're going to do a select state or select thingy. So, select, and inside of select, we have options, which is our drop down menu. So, put option value. Uh, we'll just say uh, first thing that comes to my mind ponies and we can make a couple options here um, Mexicans and Wiener. And we're going to lastly have a submit button. No, we're not. We're going to have one more. We're going to have a text field. So this guy. So we can input a whole bunch of lines of code and not just one like we did up here. So we're going to another label. 
this is going to be a message. <sighs> Tell me about your shitty day. And we're going to do a text area. We're going to give that guy a um ID and we'll say message and a name of message and it also gets col these uh, columns and rows so we'll just say 42 and a row of 9 I'm gonna guess and hopefully I remember correctly and we can end that that looks a little weird but that's how it ends there alright Um, and then lastly, we're going to have one last li, and we're going to have an input type of submit, and a an, uh, value of whatever you want it to say. Uh, submit. So let's look at what we got. We got a name, let me zoom in. We got a name, email, topic, and a message field. So this looks pretty, I mean that's that's the default styling. So I'm gonna do a very minimal CSS here because my main goal here is to tell you the HTML and how to do the PHP. So I'm not really concerned with styling that much, but I'm gonna make it look decent real quick I forgot our style goes in our head normally you don't do inline styling like this but I'm going to so type alright Usually you don't do inline styling, you would put it in an external folder like this, like what I had showed you at the beginning, but I'm just going to give you the styling just for this form, not for the all the rest. So first off we're going to contact your form and give it a, a width of like 400 pixels and we'll also target our UL inside of our form we'll give that a list style type of none and we'll get our form ULs um, we'll give them margin uh, 15 pixels top and bottom and none on the left and right so that's what that gives us and then we'll make our form labels actually I think it's just label and we'll display them block and we'll give them a font size of 2 EMs and we'll give our form input a font size of 2 EM and padding 5 pixels and a border uh, 3 uh, three C's which is a light gray a three pixel border solid and see what that gives us alright and then also let's give her a width of a hundred percent see what that does alright and we can also say for input and our text area and our select so now by default, not all browsers register this the same. So I, I gave this form a width of 400 pixels, and not everything lines up to 100%. This thing messes up. This button down here doesn't actually line up, but it's whatever. You can fix them, give them different widths. That's all the styling I'm going to do. So now, let's start some PHP. Uh, later.
this page is actually right now it's HTML but we're gonna change this to PHP later and we're actually gonna start PHP in here even though this is an HTML document so to do PHP you do this question mark PHP and that's how you start it so what do we need to start doing some PHP mail this form so we can say uh, let's get the PHP mail function from php.net so to do this mail function it says this so we can just do mail and we're going to have take out all these strings because that's just saying what it should be alright so the first argument is a two so this is going to be a hoots two so it's going to be to me so your email address and we're just going to make these variables and we're going to state them later so then we're going to have a subject and a message and also a header so then up here we're going to state what this two is this two is going to equal uh, these are how you do variables so in JavaScript you'd say var uh, 2 equals this but in PHP you don't have to say var you just say question mark so we're gonna set this equal to whatever your email address is I'm gonna use an email that doesn't I never use so if you guys email me this then you suck because I don't even check it and we're gonna give it a subject and this subject is going to equal whatever I'll show you subject's going to be whatever this thing is so it's going to say from this guy and the subject is whatever this title is so we're just going to say uh, this came from your mother <laughs> and then we're going to say so we got our two and our subject. Now we need our message. So our message is going to be made up of several things. We're going to say message equals dot these little things. And we're just going to you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to give it a name of email because it kind of makes sense. Press return twice and then say email again and end it with a semicolon it's very important that this email is lined up all the way to the left side of your document if you have it over here it won't work so anything you type inside here can be raw text or our variables so we can now we need some variables so we'll come back to this in just a second